Doctor Who for Christmas, Ghostlight. Hello and welcome to this week's video. Now I've been talking about Christmas movies the last few weeks and as I always like to slip Doctor Who into the mix somewhere, I want to talk about Doctor Who stories that are suitable for viewing over the festive period. Now obviously there's no point talking about actual Christmas specials. What's the point of that? About either the new Who ones or even like K9 and company because we all know they're Christmas specials. Most of them are set at Christmas. They've got Christmassy stuff in them. Ergo, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out, yeah, okay, I, maybe I should watch this at Christmas. I'm talking about stories that aren't really Christmas stories, but could fit into a Christmas mood and a Christmas vibe. And the story I'm going to talk about is the 1989 classic with the Seventh Doctor and Ace, Ghostlight. Now, Ghostlight was originally broadcast in... I believe it was the October of 1989. I saw it live at the time, because I'd been a fan for a couple of years by then, and I was watching it live. Um, again, on first account, there's nothing particularly Christmassy about it, but I think it's actually a very good story for the festive period, and I'll tell you why. For one thing, it's the Victoriana. It's obviously set in a Victorian mansion. Uh, th there's just something very Christmassy about Victoriana. A lot of people have noted that, no, I've noted that Victorian stuff just feels kind of Christmassy. That may be because of the association that the Victorian era has with Christmas, because obviously, at least in the UK, the Victorian era was where Christmas really became a big thing, and where a lot of the things that we associate with Christmas, like Christmas trees, became a, a big thing in the UK on account of ro royalty. Sir Charles Dickens really made cr Christmas a, a Christmassy thing with a Christmas carol. Uh, I think it was, it was Prince Albert that introduced Christmas trees into the UK. So a lot of Christmas of what we think of Christmas started on the Victorian era, which may be why even stuff that's not set in Christmas but it is in the Victorian era still feels kind of Christmassy. But there's more than just the setting that makes ghost like feel Christmassy. For one thing, as the name implies, it's it's kind of a ghost story. Obviously it's Doctor Who, so there's a, a science fiction-y rationale for, for, for things, but it's still a ghost story and it has the feel of a ghost story. And, there's, and in, again, in the UK at least, there is a long-standing tradition, a long-standing connection between ghost stories and Christmas. Again, this may in itself go back to Dickens and, and A Christmas Carol. But it's an association that has been linked many times over the hundred or so years since then. Um, the BBC themselves, of course, did in the, in the, in the 60s and 70s and have revived this tradition in, in, in recent times of having a ghost story for Christmas. Usually a short, based on a short story that's adapted and shown in the wee hours on Christmas Eve. Even again, not necessarily set at Christmas, but there's just something about ghost stories and Christmas that goes together. This was a big thing in, again in the, in the 70s. I've actually picked up uh, the DVDs and I, I, I got the first volume of the Blu-ray of the original ghost stories for Christmas. And uh, none other than uh, Doctor Who's own Mark Gattis has been responsible for reviving the tradition in recent years. So there's a lot of things about Ghostlight that have a Christmassy feel to them. The Victorian setting, the fact that it is kind of a creepy ghost story set in an old dark manor. There's something about that that screams Christmas. You've even, and you've even got a Christmassy angel in the form of light. Granted, he doesn't quite fit on top of the tree. Might be quite painful for him as well. But, again, it's another form of symbolism that you can draw a link with now maybe you think i'm maybe you think i'm talking out of my backside or s reaching for things and you're probably right but look i i'm not saying that ghostlight is a christmas story the point of this kind of video and and what may well be an ongoing series in future years is Christmas Doctor Who stories with a Christmas feel that are not necessarily Christmas stories, 
but you can watch at Christmas and which feel appropriate for the period. And I think Ghostlight is an excellent example of that. If you don't or just want to watch K9 and Company for the umpteenth time, and you don't just want to watch New Who Christmas specials, because let's face it, most of them suck anyway. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> but they do. Uh, and, and I mean, let's, let's be honest, most of the, especially the, the Russell T. Davies ones, they don't really feel like Christmassy. Moffat's were a bit more Christmassy. The Davies ones were basically just some random story that you might have a bit of Christmas trimming in. That's not really Christmassy. In fact, I would argue that content and style, something like Ghostlight actually is more Christmassy than any of the Russell T. Davies era Christmas specials. Feel free to disagree. I don't care. But again, for those of you looking for a bit of for a, for a bit of a slice of classic Who that feels appropriate for the Christmas season, I would say that you could do a lot worse than closing the shades, getting a hot cup of coffee, and snuggling under a blanket on Christmas Eve, and watching what is essentially the classic Doctor Who version of a ghost story for Christmas. Ghost light.